Hey, little one, what are you up to? The food. Where have you been? We haven't done a commercial in a while. What are yeah, you doing? Yeah, I was like, come, come. You've been putting makeup on? Yeah. Oh, what else? A uh, party. You've been going to parties? Yes, all the time. All the time? And what else? Have you been watching Hulu Plus? Yeah, Hulu Plus. You have? Yep. Well, of course you have, because it's a great service, right? Yep. Only seven ninety nine plus you get two weeks for free if you use HuluPlus.com slash T-E-S-D, right? And then seven ninety nine a month, and you can catch up on all your shows, binge on old favorites. Yeah. Uh, D-D-D-D. T-E-S-D? Yeah. Those are your four favorite letters in the whole alphabet? Yep. You sound sick. Are you sick? A little bit. A little bit. I can't believe... Blah, blah, blah. Not that much? I can't believe you're weathering the storm. I, I was able to, to uh, rouse you from your, your bed in your chicken soup and get you to come to work. You're a hard worker. You've got a good work ethic. Do you know that? Yes. I thought so. Oh, that's you. Yeah, I'm nice to you, too. I love you. You're my yes. best friend. Right? Yes. Okay. So when you're sick, like you are, sometimes you want to just sit home and watch HuluPlus.com. Yeah. And a good way to do that is to first sign up, and then you can watch episodes like Lost and Law and Order, SUV, Doctor Who, Community, and know what? You know what I like to watch? Raising Hope. That's what I'm catching up on. Raising Hope. That's a good one. Do you like Raising Hope? Maybe. Yeah. You never watch it with me, do you? No. That's okay. You got your own thing. Plus, they have exclusive content. So, you can't go wrong with that, right? Yeah. Nothing better than exclusive. It means that there's outsiders, outcasts, people that aren't as good as you. And is there anything better than shunning other people, making them feel not as good as you feel? It's the best, right? Yeah. I know. Are you getting tired? No. You're sleepy? No. Am I going to night? No. Okay. How about... I want to be. You want to watch TV? Yeah. You want to watch HuluPlus.com? Yep. All right. Let's go sign up right now. Yes. It's only going to cost us seven ninety nine. dollars Yeah. And we'll two weeks for free. HuluPlus.com slash T-E-S. Go ahead. Do it now, baby. Go ahead. Goo-goo head. <laughs> knock you out. <laughs> The commercials, Q. Yeah, we'll do yeah, one we'll commercial. Do commercials. Commercials love what? your commercials. I do love doing the commercials. I know what it is. What is it? Do you, ha- do you have the... Well, uh, Hulu Plus, Q. Well, I'm going to do Hulu Plus with Sage, so we'll All do right. um, the other one. Nature Box? Uh, Nature Box, yeah. yeah! I don't think it is Nature Box, though. No? Um... I fucking love. No, it is. Box. It's an, it's Nature. Yeah, we're waiting for next week to do all. Oh, okay, it is Nature Box again. Q. I love Nature Box. I love it. I took that box home, devoured it, devoured it, and I heard Nature Box against all odds. Quite enjoyed our commercial last week. Uh, they did. Yeah, I think they got quite a response from everyone. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Nature Box has to up their game a little bit, though. Oh, yeah? Like evidently, well, the 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 URL is naturebox.com slash t e s d, but evidently everything has to be in small okay. letters. So you're saying that's a computer tweak on their part? Well, yeah. And then we're not getting credit. People are buying all this granola and shit. You know what I love? Like like wheat prices are going way the fuck up. All the speculators are wondering why. <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> we're not getting the credit we deserve. No, we're we- influencing world markets, Holmes. It's funny to me what our listeners will latch on to or not latch on to because we've done good by Hulu Plus. We've done good commercials for them, but there hasn't – like they haven't – the listeners haven't latched on. The, the amount of times I saw Nature Box on Twitter and on Instagram. Maybe it's the product. Could be. Nature Box is a great product. <laughs> As we do a Hulu Plus commercial a little bit later. <laughs> Maybe Hulu Plus just sucks. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Do you have talking points, Walt, for uh, this Nature Box stuff? Q, you brought the whole box home, right? I brought the whole box home. I ate just about the whole box. That That vanilla granola... Mm-hmm. Might be one of the favorite things I've ever eaten in my life. Do you think um, I might need to talk to these guys? Because clearly, uh, after that 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 enema tale, yeah, I need some more fiber. Oh, maybe your enemies could be sponsored by Nature Box. Yeah, 
It's a sort of guerrilla. Well, no, no, no. I mean, they wouldn't want to. Like I'm, and I'm a free thanks to nature. Oh, so maybe box. your bowel movements would be <laughs> like I eat this shit and get so blocked up. <laughs> I'm constantly in pain. <laughs> Hashtag nature box. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Let's see. Yeah. There's all. Yeah. There's okay. We've got some nuts here and shit. Right. Hey, does anybody nuts, out there nuts. work at um fucking Chrysler? Could explain to me why my Jeep's falling apart after only five months? What happened to it? Uh. Well, I got back from Texas and, and there was snow covering my car and I went to wipe off the windshield and there were cracks in the windshield. Went online huh. and saw that this, the 2013 Wranglers have an issue with that, that the windshields are, are screwed in a certain way that they crack easily. Right. And then driving the other day and smoke starts pouring out of my fucking engine and I guess one of the belts are loose or something because it just – it didn't quite catch fire but there was – it would have if I kept driving. Right. And, you know, I've seen enough car fires in, in my career to know what was going on. And, uh, and now it's in the shop and they don't even know when the fuck it's going to get back to me. And the windshield they're saying is a chip hit it, which is fucking bullshit. Well, maybe when somebody was plowing, they like plowed it onto your, yeah, it's parked in the driveway. <laughs> yeah, Chipotle. Chase Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the windshield's cracked and, and the engine almost caught fire. If anybody out there works for Chrysler and knows why this shit's happening to me, uh, you know, well, if it's a recall, it's happened to lots of this people, is, right? This has got to be a free read for Nature Box right now. Right. Yeah, this, this is oh, unreal. Yeah. This, is, this has got to be a free read. No, no, you know, we're not. They can't be. No, because watch how I turn this around. Like, it used to be that you, you could buy American made cars and they would be as good as Nature Box. How's that one? Which Nature Box is American? They don't, they're, they're so, they're so American <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> they're so American that they don't even ship to Canada. Really? Or any other, oh, uh, fuck Canada. Cause I think, it, I think there's, it's, you need special uh, licensing to ship food across uh, border lines. I think it's that. And um, I actually, I talked to, I had a three way call with our advertiser guy and the guy who owns Nature Box. He says he hates Muslims. He says he will not <laughs> ship Nature Box to Muslims. <laughs> Said, so, Mr. Box, what are you talking about? Well, you're, why is it you're, ru- you're ruling out an entire uh, <laughs> segment of people that probably would like this shit. <laughs> Not on his watch. <laughs> no, not on Mr. Box's watch. Absolutely not. He's not over nine eleven. No. Uh, Everything is fancy on here, though. I'm looking at it right now. Well, peppery chickpeas cue. Chickpeas. Who comes up with this stuff? Do you think there's scientists like Nature Box scientists? Like who else is coming up with a cherry crumble, uh, a mandarin garlic pea? Looks- you got three different things going on there. Yeah, this is too good. And they donate meals to people. Plus, you can get $10 credit by referring a friend. And I think that's 50% off, Walt, right? Do you have your talking points or yeah, no? Yeah, I do. Like, you really, like, you, I, I knocked you out of the fucking ring. It was like fucking uh, <laughs> Rocky throwing fucking uh, Hulk Hogan out of the ring fucking with that enema story. <laughs> uh, yeah, right now, try your first order of Nature Box at 50% off by going to naturebox.com slash T-E-S-D. That's naturebox.com slash T-E-S-D. All small letters, all wow. little letters. Then what about those fucking poor kids in, in Uganda and shit like that? What are the, they, they don't have guardian angels, but I do? Well, yeah, you're American. <laughs> 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 Definitely, yeah. Like we went back the next day because I wanted to show the kids where we almost died. And um, <laughs> <laughs> how is that different from what this prick did? It's not different at all. It's exactly the same. Right down. Except we didn't even have the fucking decency to disappear. Right we Can we ask for more? For more products. <laughs> Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him, Steve Dave, number 193, crawling, ever creeping towards <laughs> the number 200. What are we going to do for 200? And the boy's back in town. What? The boy. Walt? Walt Flanagan. Here he is. Back in town. We missed him last week. 
We did. Really? I didn't see how was reaction last week's episode. I wasn't able to get onto Twitter with people. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't really there recall. Was, nobody mentioned it. There, there was too much. Um, they, were, they were hiding. Did you guys it. do anything fun? You guys yeah. play any games? No. It, it, what it, you guys it, do. We just mostly got probably by you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tried to figure out how to talk that's, with that's, talk without that was cursing. The highlight of the episode. That was Maybe that's highlight. why no one's talking about it. <laughs> if that was the highlight, me telling you guys to stop cursing. Yeah. Once we weren't allowed to curse, we were like, it was. We had to really like think out what we were saying and <laughs> it slowed down drastically. All right. <laughs> Once we had to say fudge instead of fuck, we, were, we knew we were in trouble. You can curse all you want now, Q. After hours, yeah, you can get naughty. <laughs> fuck yeah! How's that? Mm, that's what they were waiting for. Seemed forced. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, "Nice, back on track." All those high fives you can hear. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, uh, number two hundred. I don't know. I haven't really thought of anything. People like to assign uh, meaning to these centennials and milestones and. Was it seven weeks from now? Biannuals. Uh, yeah, well, I guess it would be seven weeks from now. Mm-hmm. So that'd be sometime in May. Yeah, Maybe we can get get him on. Or, oh yeah, people, <laughs> <laughs> people would like that. <laughs> and all, and all yeah. get him episode. Yeah. I, uh, you know, um, I got him to come down. Yeah, he's such a good guy. I don't know why people don't like him, man. You know, I, I emailed him. Um, well, he did Friday hold our, our, our website hostage. He did not. Yeah, he that did. is a, that is you're twisting the truth right there. No, I'm not. How did he hold it? Hostage? Well, he he did own it for years before we right. ever started. Yeah, but yeah. then he agreed to a number and then backed out on that. Remember and requested. Oh, it was like, yeah, it was like that's it was five hundred. That's then. business though. That's not personal. Well, even business, that's not good business to to accept an offer. I think then, he felt a little pressure more. at the table. You know that day. That day. I well, mean, again, business. it's just business though. You can't hold it against them. Don't hate on a, on, on a mogul. I love have you that. ever? Have you ever? Uh, you know, maybe said something you in, in a in a business sense, and then and then regretted, or maybe even reneged on it a little bit. <laughs> Before he found out the hooker was a guy, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why I should have to pay full price. <laughs> I mean, surely there's a twenty five percent discount here, right? But also, get him. As, I should see some sort of savings. <laughs> but get him is no cue, though. He's not as worldly as you. No, and he's probably not. was. The, it was the only. Diamond in his treasure chest, and you were <laughs> desperately trying to wrestle it away from him with like bra- by browbeating him and, yeah. and demanding a number immediately without giving him a chance to think. But anyway, right. so let me go back to why he's such a good guy, though. Um, I emailed him late Friday night, and I was like, I need you to take pictures of yourself. I need some selfies, and um, so I could get him to the um, – Clay guy. You mean, Clay guy. You mean the, the guy who records himself 24 hours a day? <laughs> like, I need a huge solid. <laughs> and he can't. Might as well ask Ming to podcast. <laughs> 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 he came down 12 hours later. He was at the stash in his attire that I needed him in. Really? Ready to go. I took. He needed me to take the pictures. Well, look, you know I love Get'em. But, you, like but he's doing that for himself. <laughs> what do you mean? Because it's more he has attention no idea, to him. But he has no idea. When he oh, you didn't tell him what? I didn't even tell oh, him Oh, okay. I just said, I need some pictures of you. Very cryptic. Yeah. Still showed up. Still showed up. 12 hours later. All right. But he knew it was going to lead to something that's going to get him attention up. Is that know. what we're all here he, for? He doesn't uh, – he doesn't What they say about us this week, Bri? <laughs> what they say about us? They love us, us right? They love us? <laughs> uh, that's quality control. That's not – that's not uh, – if I cared enough, I would have went on Twitter, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. We'll go on about getting him. All right. 200. Book it. <laughs> you listen and get them. <laughs> uh, some, something happened today that made me think of. Um, uh, I, I was uh, I went to the doctor today. Yeah, and I, I got there early, so I was like walking around the area, and uh, there's a pawn shop. Uh, right there. What yeah, doctor? I know, right? What doctor? Uh, oh, are you in Dr. Feelgood. Uh, close, Long Branch. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Is it like pawn shops around us? Are, are That's like seeing like a, a – uh, what's it called? Like a white hippo? What's it called? Like the white whale. A white yeah. flamingo? No, what is it? A, what the uni- white unicorn. They're not. They're not. You can't. Or a unicorn or in general. Yeah. Yeah. You just can't find them around here. Like, I, I mean, is there one in Red Bank? I don't think so. It, it really does it's smack the of like. Parts um, of town. I don't know why that is. Well, because only desperate people are pointing off there. The price, but it, but it's not. It looks so nice in on, on TV, uh, right? Yeah. One, does the it? Air, the, <laughs> the eight mile one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. But you don't see them. I don't know if I've ever even been in one. I've always wanted to go to one. But yeah. Uh, this one was not that thrilling. It was nothing of interest for you. Uh, it was small. There were like a, a couple guitars there. Um, a lot of jewelry. If you were in a desperate situation, like you're on your way to the doctor and you're like, oh Christ, I can't pay the doctor. Mm -hmm. What do I have? What do you bring with you? What's the one item you know you can bring to the to the pawn shop today and, and at least pay a little bit of the doctor bill? Um, maybe my guitar. Some of Suzanne's jewelry without her knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't have like a, I mean, maybe like a TV. Can you bring them a TV? It depends. I guess if it's like a newer model, but if I should, if it's a tube TV, forget mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it's a 13 inch black and white. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not Jeff, entirely you Jeff Tuner. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure it works. <laughs> Please don't check it. Because <laughs> when I see on, when I see hardcore pawn, they are swimming in TVs. Right. So, yeah, it seems like they have a lot, a lot like TVs and watches. The other, yeah. Everybody's bringing in a watch. So I don't, yeah, so you might just. What, what what kind of model guitar you got? What's it going to get you, you think? Oh, my God. I mean, it would probably get me 40 to 50 bucks. It's a $600 so doctor, guitar, the but... The doctor's not even looking at you, then. No. I didn't even get through the door. I got to bring multiple items, I probably. I get you one finger in your ass, let alone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even the TV I bought wasn't super expensive, so to bring that in. And it would be such a fucking hassle yeah. to try to get it in there. But uh, I was just lo I was looking around, and uh, there was a, a dude, a, an older black guy, probably like late fifties, early sixties. Uh, one eye wasn't totally open; the other one was normal. And he uh, he had brought in a watch. Uh, it was a bit like I mean, I had no idea what kind of watch it was, but it was huge. It was like remember that watch you had, like the, yeah, that yeah, big one, watch. Uh, probably about the same size. Mm. And uh, I mean, he only got like I think it was like. 30 bucks or something but the guy went was to the back as exciting as it is on tv uh oh it was awesome yeah like th then he told him the history of the watch and <laughs> <laughs> the intense music play while you guys yeah, negotiated yeah. the price <laughs> um but this guy said something about the weather and uh i said yeah it's i hate the cold it sucks oh he's bringing up weather you're right away oh, too. Boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i said uh well, just uh, <laughs> it was shocking because he wasn't a. Uh, it's funny ever since that episode my I, I can't help but notice every time my mother brings up the weather now really? it's constant <laughs> it's constant <laughs> just like, it makes me my laugh mom does it too. <laughs> she does it all the time she, i go hey what's going on I'm like nothing you hear about it? the storm coming like, mm. when three weeks from now and I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like what they're all about the long range <laughs> forecast that's why my mother's like it's going to be 50 i'm like when she's like 10 days from now <laughs> <laughs> But uh, he, um, he, I, I said, yeah, I can't wait for the warm weather. And he said, he goes, uh, yeah, you know, whatever, uh, whatever God wants it to be, that's what's going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, he go, I learned that, and they, like he leans in real close, and he said, um, he said, because uh, if, he, if he left me here, after the way I chased those bitches and drugs, he goes, I'm the only one uh, of mine that's still around. Uh, he he must be looking out for me. And immediately I was like, I want to know everything about you. Yeah. And it reminded me of like what Space Monkeys originally was supposed to be. Us interviewing fucked up people. Really fucked up people <laughs> in really fucked up situations. Yeah. And then it just turned into us sitting here without Walt and being like, I wish we could curse. <laughs> 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 you can only blame yourself. Yeah, definitely. Why, you guys, I thought you. I had no idea you guys were coming to the store to record it. I figured you got the fucking the un, the unit that everybody's salivating for. The recording, right. you. even Ming and Mike. You can bring it anywhere you want, and I'm like, well, he for sure ain't going to come here. I walked through the door. You guys are here. I thought, for you sure you'd use the opportunity In retrospect, to, get, to get exciting to do something out, like off the cuff? Well, what are we going to throw together? That's where we go. Just, I probably, I, I mean, <laughs> exciting. I probably could have come up to your house and we could have done it there because you have mics, right? Yes. Yeah. So probably next time that might be what I do. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to lo look more into that, man. I was watching, um, yesterday I was watching footage from the 92 LA riots. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you see, uh, newscasters interviewing people and you're just waiting for one of them to get like a fucking cinder block across the head or whatever. Uh -huh. And there were some, like there was this one white guy who a white dude who was so like condescending and smarmy. I, I was really surprised really? that they let him fucking leave with like, like upright. 
you know um it's fucking weird though the people that like the way they're able to um tell themselves like looting that like if if the cops wanted us to stop they would stop us they're right there and it's true there's like three cops there versus like fucking 400 people right. <laughs> pouring in and out of the store and i thought it said a lot too because it's like there, there's looting there's riots it's a fucking war zone if i'm going me personally if i'm going to uh try to steal something i'd probably like look for an atm right and, and kick that try to like pry that open or something but there were certain people what tools are you going to use that you have at your disposal i'm not going i'm I'm not going out i mean (laughs) i'm not saying i am doing it but if if i were to do it right uh that that like that's where my mind goes i struggle to picture you even crawling through the broken window of the walmart Mm -hmm. and grabbing something let alone fucking trying to wrestle with an atm to get it open and take the fucking belly cash out of the atm you don't see me doing that huh no not at all. Well, as long as the other, like the other guys, had like cleared a, a path for me so I could get in. My point being, though, like there was one lady that they interviewed. She gave her name and everything. And you look in her cart, and she has diapers and cereal and all that other kind of shit. As opposed to like trying to bust open cash registers or ATMs. And I was like, wow, it's weird. Like she went in there with like, this is what I need. You know, right? Not right to steal it. But it really it kind of said a lot about the, the state of affairs at the time. Whoa. You know? It went off for six days and 53 people were killed. It was fucking crazy. Do you remember it? Like when it was going on? It was crazy. Yeah. And I always uh, thought. 2,000 people injured. I always thought it was sort of contained to like South Central. But the, the news reports I saw, it was um, it was like up on Hollywood Boulevard. and um, Really? Uh, was it Wilcox? I can't remember. But like areas that you wouldn't have thought, you know. People would have, but they were just burning down and the Koreans, people's businesses and like shit. Koreans were like, like, they were like, fuck you guys. They went up there with guns. Guns right? on the roof and started yeah. shooting at people. Yeah. That's awesome. And like firemen trying to put stuff out. They were throwing bricks and shit out yeah, and that's all so that cool. stuff. That's what, you, what would you do? And like a Red Bank is uh, the, the, a hotbed well, of looting. I mean, I, would I you? Would you, uh, you had a rifle. Mm-hmm. See him get him up there on the top of the stash. <laughs> <laughs> Our, our fucking token Korean. <laughs> I let you say that. Uh, and then I sent Mike up there to like uh, periodically like give him more ammo. Yeah. yeah in Resupply. Case, in case he ran out. <laughs> he has Ming's- to cover the whole – he has to cover the front, the back, the sides. <laughs> He's killed or winged at least 40 people. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never take the comics. <laughs> Boss Franigan said no way. No, no, no. I would be able to get him to go out there. I would have to tell him that Kev told me. Direct orders uh, from Kevin. Then yeah, he'd yeah. Then he'd have like, – then he'd look like fucking John Rambo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hands he's, all, <laughs> he's all painted up and shit. No <laughs> shirt on, bandoliers on his fucking XLR chest. cable running up the side of the building with a fucking microphone up there. <laughs> Live podcast. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I don't know. And how many kids? That was the other thing. There were so many, like, little kids brought along for, yeah. for the day. Yeah. And, and they would ask them, they'd be like, how can you bring your kid out to steal and shit? And they're just laughing. They don't care. They're laughing. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just so weird, like something you can't even, you cannot well, you know, relate what, what, to. What do you think is the proper emotion for that, for that, for that time? Then, for the person who's being asked, like, what if they're not laughing? What would you expect them to be doing? Uh, I mean, certainly not giving your name and identity on TV. Yeah, but they were like, <laughs> as I recall, <laughs> and I was to like, me that seemed like a bad idea, <laughs> like sort of a misplay. <laughs> All right, so but you tell me though, what emotion you expect to see from them? At, like, uh, if it's not laughter, that like it, that gets you kind of like, wow. I mean, I wouldn't appear. What on would camera. you? What would you? What would you expect? Like, would you expect rage or just uncontrollable anger? Well, I, th- I think one of the two. I think it's. I think it's either rage or it's like we're having a party. <laughs> You know, and it's like. Do you remember like it's how basically happy they like a block party? Yeah. They were oh, yeah. like, hey, yeah. They were like giving gang signs and like dancing and shit. It's it's crazy. Like every, I mean, without fail, like you know, you'd have the news reporter, and he'd be talking to somebody, and there would be at least three other people trying to talk into the mic too, and they'd be like, "He's talking to me, motherfucker!" You know, and the guy's like, "You can't curse on TV," and I'm like, "Why are you bothering to like? Wait, these guys are stealing shit. You know, you're worried about they can't curse on TV. It's crazy, isn't it? You know, and um." And uh, 
That's the other thing. A lot of people will wave and, and the nonstop gang signs, yeah. like they're doing all that shit, you know? Um, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. You're only 14, Q? In 92? Yeah, I was 16. Yeah, we would have been 16, 18, 15, no, like 24. Yeah, we were older. We were 23, 24. Like, I remember that happened in the early 90s and the OJ thing. The OJ thing was the other big, like, uh, yeah. event in LA. I remember the Lakers. It was like playoffs. The Lakers are playing the, the uh, suspended programming during the low speed chase. Yeah. I remember thinking he was going to kill himself in the car. I was like, OJ? I was like, he was going to end with him shooting blowing his brains out. Yeah. Alas. Would you have nope. been upset if you saw that nah, on live he's TV? A piece of shit. OJ? Well, you didn't know OJ. if he had done it at that point. There was no trial. Come on. Come on, man. What's, <laughs> what's, what's, what? This is America still, man. He's still innocent until proven guilty, right? Apparently innocent right. anyway. <laughs> nah, OJ's a piece of shit. It's fucked up. He killed two people. I got away with and it. I remember he wrote that book? That was, if I did it, yeah. if I did it, that described exactly how he did it. What a fucking piece of garbage! Well, he's in jail, and, and yeah. that's the thing. Wouldn't you like if you were OJ? Like I would, I wouldn't jaywalk. I wouldn't drop a fucking no. uh, like I wouldn't spit a piece of gum on the ground. I would steer clear of anything that could possibly <laughs> get me put yeah. in jail. Oh, yeah. And and to do what he did, like to, to sort of organize that, like. Um, that raid of his his um, sports memorabilia. His memorabilia. It's crazy. Like, what did you think was going to happen? I think I think you become desperate when like every avenue to to make money is closed down to you. Should have brought his lifestyle. guitar down to the pawn shop. <laughs> <laughs> and that lifestyle that you know he's leading. I mean, he is not one that he just can't go to like the extreme of like you know living in a one bedroom. Right. Yeah. I mean, the lifestyle he led had to fucking cost a lot. Like right. that, that was something to maintain well, right plus there. Plus, he did have to pay out money to their families, right? Well, he didn't – yeah, but he, he – tra- every avenue, he tried to, like, stop that from happening too. Right. Though. Lawyer – I mean, he, the amount of money he must have spent on lawyers was astronomical. Right. I thought that was strange too. That was the other thing about the riots that I – you know, the Rodney King thing. It's like criminally these guys are found not guilty, but then it's found that his civil rights were violated. Right. So I wondered at the time where they like, look, we're going to fucking give this guy money because if we don't – they're going to fucking do the same exact thing and they're going to fucking burn the city down again. So here's how much we're going to give them. All the jurors are filled in. Just fucking vote for it. Because like, I don't understand how can you be criminally guilty, but civilly or criminally not guilty, but civilly you are guilty. And it was a lot. Wasn't it like 25 million for OJ. Wasn't it like he, he owed, uh, like he was supposed oh, to pay the, the Goldberg yeah, or Goldman's. Goldman's. Yeah. <clears throat> like yeah, something remember. insane. Yeah, I don't recall. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, I don't get that. Walt, where's the plane? Oh. The fuck's this plane, man? <laughs> I think that plane is it, – it can't be underwater. No? No. I think something would have floated to the top by now. I just I just saw in today's – or uh, on, online, it was like in Chinese waters or something. Oh, they found it? No, it was like a – no, they didn't find it, but it was like a – not radar. What's it called? Uh, satellite. Satellite picture, uh, way the fuck up. And it's like this little tiny white thing. I mean, how mm-hmm. – it's this little white thing, this little white triangle. How you would know that's a piece of the plane from that high? I don't yeah. know. But maybe they're like, yeah, maybe. What do you think happened? Fuck, probably. Just disintegrated in the air? Engine failure, went into the drink, that's that. But even if it's disintegrates in the air, it's not like it truly like, – it's not like it vaporizes, right? right? Like there wouldn't there be, be shit floating around? And I always thought – like and I haven't seen it mentioned in one article yet, the black box. Like I thought the black box was supposed to be the foolproof way to find yeah, wreckage of shit. No, they had to ping them, don't they? Yeah, I don't think it works that way. I, th- I thought did you, you find the wreckage, then you get the black box. It's just you, a recorder. But you should yeah. be able to track them, right? Yeah, I thought it like would have GPS on it or something. I didn't something. think so, but I thought they had a Garmin. Yeah, I thought they had a Garmin or like work uh, on the, on, on well, the did water you know anyway. That, um, no, no, of course. Relatives not. were calling their the their loved ones on the plane, and the and the phones were ringing well after the plane disappeared. Really? Yeah, nobody was picking up. The phones were ringing though, so that led people to believe that possibly it's on a, a Vietnam airport right now. Well, you could track cell phones if they're as long as they're on. So that seems unlikely to me. Well, that's What's unlikely that, that the phones are ringing. That it's on land because you can just track them. It's not that well, they hard. Haven't tracked them. If they if the rel- family members wanted the phone, the uh, the cell phones tracked, and they haven't done it. Oh, well, 
I don't know. <laughs> it just crashed. It just crashed. You don't man. think there's nothing more sinister? Well, I mean, for me to think that there's something sinister would be for me to invent an entire conspiracy. Well, they and found they the. Um, and I've been up since early this morning. I, I, you I, don't I, have it in you to invent a conspiracy. <laughs> well, they, that the two people that were using the stolen passports, I think yeah, they. Yeah, they figured out they were just looking for asylum. They weren't. Um, if they you weren't terrorists. What, what the, <laughs> sure, what they wrote. Yeah. But I mean, why wouldn't they tell people if that were the case? Like if it exploded, you know, or if, or if it was terrorism, it's like they never I have was, problems telling you before. I thought it was interesting that they did crowd sourcing, searching for the plane. Did you hear about this? Yeah. They released all these thousands upon thousands of satellite images and put them out to public and said, hey, like if anybody in the public can look through these photos and any ones that come in, if you mark – that you see something and send that photo to us. So they, they actually released all those satellite images to, help, to get help finding the plane in the ocean. Satellite images of what would the images look like? Just It's just water. And they're like, if you see debris or you see something floating. Oh, you mean they don't have enough eyes to look That's at it? That's right. So they, they released it out to the to public. Who? To who? Just to the general public? General Anybody public. who, I, I mean. Yeah. That's dangerous, right? Why? Because you're going to get inundated with people going like, I see fucking – Oh, sure. I see Godzilla I under that water. I mean you're going to see people <laughs> – lunatics are going to be like, I see something that's really not there. And they're going to waste your time. Well, I think that all, all you got to do is look at the photo that they send. I, they did it, Walt. I'm not responsible for it. I uh, they, This uh, is maybe why they can't fucking find a plane. At least this is the avenue they went. Like let's just release it to the general public to see if they can figure it out. <laughs> We're not what? having any luck. Like get him's drinking. <laughs> Staring at his screen with his fucking light up hat on. <laughs> he's, those people, I see a those people lives are in his, get him's hands. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would like to, th- I would like to think there's a there, that this will be this mystery we saw, but there's they, this is called the ghost ship Q. Yeah, and there's been many instances of uh, aircraft that have just disappeared and that's never been found. Ghost planes. Ghost planes. Ghost ships. Go ship, Quinn. That's this is a little cool. overkillish. Yeah, hey, play Declan, that footage. <laughs> yeah. like, can you play the theme to overkill? <laughs> yeah, put it in there, fool. Yeah, that is creepy. I thought the only way I mean, this this whole thing would be weirder is if suddenly the plane showed up. Everybody's all right, but none of them have like any memory of what happened. Right, like oh, lost so, time. Yeah, I was gonna say, so you're watching Lost. Basic, Were you watching Lost when you thought of this? Um, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about making a TV show about it until you just. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. But no, they had memory of it, right? When they. Uh, when they lost came back? Did. Yeah, uh, in X-Files, the first episode of X-Files, they had Lost Time. You never even saw Lost. You know what you're talking about. Who, me? Yeah. I tried. I couldn't get into <laughs> yeah, it. Couldn't get into it. No, I was like, did, did you watch True Detective? No, I don't even know what that Holy is. Holy shit. Was, yeah, that was did good. Did you see it? Did mm-hmm. you see the finale? What's that? Did you see the finale yet? Yeah. What do you think? Good? Uh, I liked it. Yeah, you saw it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I don't like? I don't like going to like a website to read about it. And they're like, here's why it sucks. And then they point out shit that like, I wasn't bright enough to figure out and uh, like plot holes and stuff right. like that. But I still, I still liked I liked it. it. I don't care about the plot. I like that. It was like, it was a happy ending. Like, mm-hmm. isn't that weird? That, was, that is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like that relentlessly bleak show, like had a really fucking happy ending for the characters. There, there was this uh, one part, Walt, towards the end, spoiler if you haven't watched it yet, um, towards the end where there's like the the killer, you know, is um, in his house. And it's like, I, that was the one thing I didn't like. It was like a very typical like serial killer home with like dolls with no eyes and right. all kinds of weird shit. And of course it's disgusting. And he has, the guy has like his, I guess it was his girlfriend or his wife or whatever. It turned out to be his half sister, (laughs) but she's like, why don't we ever make flowers anymore? And, um, eventually she's, I mean, she's gross. She sits on his lap and he starts like diddling her 
and she tells a story about like how her grandfather molested her in this field or something, yeah. right? Like as he's doing it, it was just like this is the fucking height of fucking <laughs> <laughs> off putting well, creepy it bullshit. Too. Yeah, yeah. He's like, tell me about grandpa. <laughs> yeah, and he starts talking like in that British accent yeah, and shit yeah, for yeah. no reason. It was weird. Yeah, I also didn't. I sort of didn't buy like the the injuries that those two sustained were so over the top. So for them to survive, yeah, I was like, I don't know. Like, I, mean, I feel like if somebody put a giant fucking knife into my chest and lifted me off the ground for 30 seconds. Yeah. I don't know. You'd probably be torn up enough that you wouldn't survive. Sure. Possibly. But I mean, I wouldn't say that you definitely wouldn't survive. Yeah. And I really liked it. I liked the ending. Or an axe in the chest. Yeah. And that's it for those characters. Although I read, and we'll just drop this, Walt, that he retained no, the, the literary rights to those two characters. The guy who created the show. Oh, did he? Which means he could write novels about them if he wants. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I want to retain the literary rights to get them. <laughs> I, I think you do. <laughs> I don't think anyone's <laughs> arguing for them. That, oh, fuck it. <laughs> More negotiations. <laughs> Forget about it. And you know the hard nosed negotiator he is, so <laughs> <laughs> open that you got wallet. Extra 20 bucks out of cute. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. you're still pissed about it that's what's even more fucked up <laughs> yeah yeah you're like I don't understand why people hate him and right, he's right there with like I know why <laughs> I, mean, I can't figure it out why people hate him I really can't but we'll leave him alone yeah I was going to introduce a new segment I was hoping it could become a, a somewhat regular segment all right. oh alright need a name for it though um, I was thinking about the fat news is taken yeah um, but not enough attention on the fourth member of Tom Steve Dave, I thought. Hitler. I thought, you know that this motherfucker <laughs> still is making news to th this many years later after his death? So it's going to be like Hitler-centric news that happens today. Oh, I see. Like stuff they're still finding out? Or, or stuff that – or just Hitler-centric. Okay. If it has something to do with Hitler – like that, we'll that, that fam, the, like that family, that husband and wife in Pennsylvania or whatever they yeah, name their kids. Stuff okay. like that. Like, like, right. like Hitler based is, I don't think any leader from that time, you can make the case or any, or even Maybe last Churchill time. might every once in a while be popping up in the new, you know, in the news, but really sure. If they find something of his <laughs> or, or they, they publish his books and stuff like that. You it's don't say <laughs> asshole. <laughs> You really think? Go on, do there's, tell. There's enough, there's enough news based material about Hitler. I mean, about Churchill that we could do a weekly segment on it. No, not weekly. I said, well, that's why I said oh, it pops up from time Churchill. to time. All right, we'll do a year, a yearly Churchill based. Uh, <laughs> well, what happened, Walt? Is you said that I don't think any leaders from those times are still in the news today. And what I said was, I think Churchill pops up from time to time. Okay, yeah. that's, that's the exact nobody like sequence Hitler. Sequence of events. There's a there's this documentary. Um, it's called Active Killing. Which is these Malaysian guys or Indonesian guys or something. And basically they're, they're talking about these atrocities that they committed in the mid sixties against, uh, you know, people that were suspected of being communists and all that kind of shit. And they, the, the way the documentary set up is that they reenact it, you know, like the dialogue that they remember, uh, the situations they remember, like they have this wire on a guy's neck and then like this handle that they turn. And, uh, you know, to cut off his head or something. And so the, the guy who's getting his head cut off is saying the things that the victim said at the time that they remember. You know, you, you know mm -hmm. what I'm getting at? Yeah. Um, what's that? No. Oh, you don't? No. Who's, okay. who's going on? It's yeah, the, I don't even know what he's talking sorry. about. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Indonesian. Yeah, like Indonesian or Malaysian. Yeah, during the um, – when the uh, military took over in the uh, mid-60s. Indonesian. Okay. Yeah, okay. or Malaysia. I can't remember which one it was now. Right. But um, basically there were like uh, guys, you know, in the military that were in charge of like, okay, well, this guy's a uh, a communist. So either kill him or uh, get some information out of him or whatever. So they had like these death squads, right? So these guys were in the same death squad and they get, the, they get together for this documentary and basically they reenact – um, so they so scenes from oh the mid sixties and, and where they murdered people. They, they actually get people to, to commit these acts on again. Who, who like actors? No, no, no. They don't actually kill them. You know, but no, they're not actors. They're the people who actually did it back then. They're who, just. They're, who are they? Who are they performing these these this torture on? Uh, one of the guys that was in their death squad. He like one person will play the victim. 
How old are these guys now? They're old. They're real old. They're like they look some some look like they're guy? probably on Netflix. Some people look like maybe they're in their sixties. One dude looked pretty old, like eighties. Um, but the 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 reason I bring it up is because at one point they were um, talking about how Nazis get too much credit. That um, like why do they always why are they always making movies about Nazis? Well, I mean, when it's the they, wrong when, type of a credit though. When they <laughs> but they don't care. These guys don't care. They're like they're they're remorseless. And they're like, I mean, they're laughing as the, like, they're still know, laughing as 70 year old men. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're like, at one point they go to this market and they start shaking down all these Chinese people, uh, that run booths or whatever, they because still got their, they want to throw a they rally. Still got, uh, mojo they just, got some fucking lady. juice evidently. Yeah, man. Because people like you could see on their faces that like, cause there's a camera there. The Chinese people are like, are, like, are you kidding? Or, <laughs> and the guy and the dude says to him, this big fat guy, he's like, uh, like consider yourself lucky. I asked and not, and I just didn't punch you. And, um, and the guy's like, all right. <laughs> so like they're handing over money so that these guys can, uh, have this rally, like this paramilitary youth rally or something. Um, and, uh, they that was the thing they were like you know we you should they should make a movie about us and the things we did like the, what the nazis did as far as like sadists were nothing you know like we really fucking really? knew how to murder well, people I'm not gonna, yeah well i'm not you know my news cue you're it's not, not gonna celebrating be depressing. hitler yeah 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 no it's not it's, it's not like you know it's not, <laughs> don't get carried it's, away it's like new news News like stuff like you want to hear the news that I got for I got, yeah. I got I need also need help with this if this proves popular people can send me news you need a research team have you ever guys ever heard of the term giving someone a shitler <laughs> not until three seconds ago you never heard that <laughs> no no but I mean, I'm definitely interested I'm, I'm going to assume it's like no, you know Schittler. the taking shit and the putting Mac it under your Daddy nose has not in, has I mean does it have something this? to do with women because it doesn't sound like something. <laughs> Anyone would request really. or maybe, or maybe um, I don't mean Mac Daddy is sexually. I thought maybe like you know your party days. No, you I never was like, you know, like a passed out buddy. Maybe you gave giving some, Schittlers you right and left. Schittler. <laughs> no, is that where you put shit on the middle? Yes, that's yeah, exactly. That's what I would assume. Yeah, your, like a dirty Sanchez. Shit, you put it and you make a like a a, a mustache. mustache. No, I never like. did that. Well, now you you know um, you can give the fewer. A, a, a very own Schittler because somebody in Germany, they made an, an artist, has made toilet paper <laughs> with the image of Hitler on it that you wipe your ass on. Ah! I thought that uh, you weren't allowed to do like any Nazi esque shit he's at all. Not no able images. To sell it in, in in Germany, but he's doing a big business uh, mail order. Really? I mean, this guy. I mean, he is raking in the dough. I mean, this he's getting orders from all over the world. How much does it cost? Um, for a roll of toilet paper. Yeah, I don't know. I'll look it, it up. I'll say, look it up while you're talking. While you're telling, doesn't us. say. Oh, four hundred four dollars and seventy cents. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is it too pliable? I'd rather rip out the Hitler section of the encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think four dollars and seventy cents is too much for one, for one roll, roll of toilet paper? To, you know, for the uh, you know, just for the you know, the, the shits and giggles, if you will, of uh, <laughs> of wiping your ass with, with an image of Hitler's face. I mean. Given the Fuhrer a Schittler. I think people would probably like uh, rather do it to get him's image <laughs> than Hitler's. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we can make some money. We can do another Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what do you guys think of that? You know, that's an enterprising uh, young guy right there. Yeah, I mean, good for him if he's making money. I, I, he's making big bucks. Yeah, I, I support it. I think it's great. I mean, I, I mean, it's. I mean, how how if you told? I mean, him, if anybody deserves to have shit wiped on their face. <laughs> It's Hitler. Hitler, right? <laughs> but I thought like this could be like a little thing like audibly we'll give Hitler a shitler, you know, through, through us telling these stories. Because I can imagine like if someone went back in time and told Hitler. A metaphorical face, shitler. Yeah. If your, your face is going to be on toilet paper and the world will wipe their ass with your face, I'm sure he would have been like, no way. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the Fuhrer. <laughs> Did you know that there was a Hitler themed, um, what's that called? A show called when it's a sitcom. Get out, really? Where? Yes. Oh, wait. I think I heard about this. Where? Yeah. And, and, uh, Was he somebody's England. next door neighbor? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard about, about this. That you, yeah. I got so much. What's it come? Uh, you want to know the name of it? Yeah. Well, uh, Let's I'll, do a double header. Double today. header? Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. Let's stop big. Okay. Yeah. Hitler parade. <laughs> <laughs> His uh, conf. 
No, it was called. <laughs> it only aired once, and it was pulled from. Uh, it was called Heil Honey. I'm home. <laughs> It sounds like a rejected Saturday Night Live yes, sketch. It, but it, it really was a real uh, sitcom that aired, I believe, in uh, England. <laughs> it was canceled after one episode. The BBC and gets up to some how weird fucked shit. up is it that it got Ava that far? Braun, it was kind of like I Love Lucy kind of take. And Eva Braun was Lucy, of course. And Did he um, wackily kill Jewish people? I think he was – I. He had to be the butt of every joke, right? He was like an idiot. I didn't watch it. I mean, this aired actually. I mean, I know I said it would be like Hitler centric news yeah. of today. <laughs> this I, was the 60s. This, is, yeah. I gotta, I gotta 70s. Admit, this, this one I thought was worth mentioning, even though it happened in 1990, though. Um, that's that's pretty that's recent pretty, still. Yeah. I was going to say, that's not that long. British ago. satellite broadcasting aired a single episode of Heil Honey, I'm Home, a Nazi themed sitcom featuring fictionalized versions of Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun. The couple inexplicably lived in Berlin apartment building across the hall from a Jewish couple <laughs> called Arnie and Rosa Goldstein, whose patently offensive parallel comedy universe to Hitler's are a typical urban couple, and their biggest challenges are making dinner for British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain and surviving the antics of their neighbors. Wow. Who, wait, who who does the antics? The Jewish people or the Hitlers? I think the uh, Jewish people. <laughs> Uh, if anybody you, can get us a copy of that, it's on YouTube. You can watch the whole thing. Get out. You yeah. can? Oh, yeah. You can watch the whole episode. Only one I'm episode there, but it's on there, though. <laughs> it's pretty bad, though. I watched a little yeah. bit of it. It's it sucks. really bad. It's not good. <laughs> How long is it? A half hour? <laughs> it's like 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a picture of a Q if you're uh, curious. Sort of. <laughs> but uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does he play it like Femme? Or uh, again, I only watch a little bit of it. Mm. I mean, I we're we're not glorifying this stuff. No, no, we hate it. And unless Arthur Lowe defeats him, the man himself in a few moments in Hile Honey, I'm home as the Galaxy Comedy Weekend continues. Like, how fucking, like, the actor that took that role, I wonder if he was like, Gareth Marks is Arnie. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man, that is weird. Oh, fuck. All right, so here uh, comes they, Hitler in full Nazi garb. Oh, they got the full laugh track and everything. And, wow. Why does he have like a yeah? <laughs> really? <laughs> wow! Wow! It really is played like you say, like like I love Lucy. It's not like a modern sitcom. Yeah, it's not very good, and I imagine that um there was a little bit of outrage and mm -hmm. uh, little, so all these factors <laughs> yeah, came together, and uh, it only lasted one episode, but. So, Again, that's cheating on my part, though. The Heil Honey at Home that happened a long time ago. But there's news. There's yeah. a there's a teapot cue that caused a lot of uproar because it looked like Hitler. Really? The J.C. Penny catalog recently. Did you see it? Yeah. Like, did you and and did it look like Hitler? Yeah, when you look you at it, you have to look at you it. You gotta and... look at it. You're like, oh yeah, it does. It does resemble Hitler. Mm -hmm. But you know, hit, it's it's crazy the amount of the amount of times people will use Hitler's image to sell merchandise, and you're like. How could they think this would be successful? I remember a couple of years ago, they were selling like these heaters. It was another country, but yeah. they were selling heaters and yep. it was a tiny little yep. Hitler. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Oh, All right. Well, I like that segment, man. Yeah. So look also for anybody who has good suggestions for a name of this segment, we'll take it on to. There'll be a prize. Maybe a, maybe a, a vinyl cast. Ooh. Guys. <laughs> giving out these vinyl kits like, 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 like we got an inexhaustible supply of them. <laughs> to the best uh, the best person to come up and again we'll never glorify we're always going to give him a shitler on it oh yeah he's a piece of fucking human garbage he's feces right but you know people still mad at him like like actively angry though like to go out of your way to like order from another country order toilet paper just to wipe your your ass on his face but do you think it's a little bit like the people who are ordering it though 
and they're doing it just for the laughs to show their friends, like, look what I got. Right. Have you, have you ever seen this? You know, I would say so. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, I can't see it as being a true stand against Hitler. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, very quickly, I'm going to thank Casey Bernard for – he sent me a Dick Tracy – uh, the tramp. Remember, I wanted this a while ago. From the oh, yeah. that was the only one. What was his thing stinking up the? Uh, oh, cute. Also, tell tell the listener who sent you the um, the dangling saint statue that you you got it and you're happy with it. Please. Why? Did, He's harassing me. Did you, get it? <laughs> you got it. You saw you saw it. Oh you, yeah. You did see it. Oh yeah. By the way, we got the dangling saint statue. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Thanks so you have much. It, you have it right next to your Joker statue, right? It's, it's, that you took. The yeah, night. it's hanging up. In my, it's in my house. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. I don't. We don't have his name like Brian has. Yeah, the guy who sent that. Good yeah. dude. Not very nice guy. Talented. Every I think every Tell Him Steve Dave listener is talented. <laughs> Everybody's special. No, I'm not kidding so around. I think special. they all. I, I think that we do attract a more artistic crowd than uh, <laughs> than other podcasts. I agree. I mean, the amount of talent and um, just good talent that comes through, I can see it. You know, it's its inspiring. Yeah. They're a good bunch, the ants, I think, anyway, really. <laughs> Who doesn't think that at this table? I don't know. I, mean, I heard Quinn saying something <laughs> earlier. He wasn't happy with the dangling saint statue somebody sent him. <laughs> no, I love that thing. Uh, the ant shirt is great. It's got to be coming soon, right? What's that? The ant shirt. It's got to be. at the end of the month, right? Oh, wait a minute. It's right here. Too. We almost had... Um, oh, wait. There it is. Oh, that's a dangling saint? That's a dangling saint. Oh, wow. Let me see. It does look good. Oh, yeah. It's pretty sweet. The ant shirt, Q. Have you seen the image? Uh, Yeah. I'm going to get it as a tattoo eventually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Did you talk, about, you talk to the artist about... Uh, Maybe compensation for taking his artistic <laughs> license and putting it on your body. No, I mean, you are a businessman. You like, you know. Yeah, because if if that's shown on Impractical Jokers, <laughs> we know what happened with Mike Tyson in The Hangover. <laughs> but I did want to. Talk, there was some, there's some, some dissension in the ranks. Whose ranks? <gasps> the, the ants. What happened? I, I got an email from somebody who wasn't happy that um, the listeners have been lab- labeled ants. He feel it, he feels it may be a slight. We're all ants. But we include ourselves in it. Yeah. So what's the uh... – uh, Well, he's he's just questioning, you know, like an ant is kind of uh, definitely the kind of creature that you step on without a second thought. He's He was asking, could we change it yeah. you know, to at least a bee? Because a bee you're a bit afraid of. <laughs> Gets more respect than an ant does. Well, then why – I mean, if you're going to go bee, then why not go like wasp or, or hornet? Or, dragons. Yeah. I mean, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's still an insect, though. I mean, a dragon's not real, Q. Well, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> he was saying if we're gonna be, if we're gonna have the, uh, if we're gonna label our fan base insect centric, can we at least call them ants? Because ants have stingers. He said. Bees. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, bees. Well, yes. no. So he ants wants to rewrite "Tell Him Steve Dave" history and everything that you've said up to this point about ants and and the ant hills. And oh, you're not willing to. You're not willing to even even to weigh it. No, to we were lobby made, it about. Uh, you want you want to talk about it on air for a fun bit? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I also I thought, I thought we could roll out. A, a second shirt. shirt. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I guess. Let's think about this. There could be ants and bees, right? Well, <laughs> no, yeah, but th- yeah, this listener didn't get it. I think, I think if you're a listener and you don't like being called an ant, then you get it. You know, you don't need someone to tell you you're not an ant. Mm-hmm. You know it inside, right? And if you don't know it, then you're an ant. You're an ant. Right. right. I mean, that's. I thought. I think it's very simple. I mean, it's like it's almost. And that's where the irony comes in. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if you're offended by that and you keep telling yourself, "Well, I'm not an ant," I want to be at least be a, a bee. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to rise above your ant status, no matter what happens. Right. No mm-hmm. matter what, tell him Steve Dave says, or no matter what the shirt you're wearing says. But I don't. Yeah, this guy. I don't think he got it though. Yeah, he, he doesn't. He's a little get upset. It. I'm not saying in a bad way, but it came so organically from the show, right? Uh, but again, like I said, uh, he he felt it may be an insult, like it's no, kind of an insult no. to the. We're to ants. The I'm, I'm proud to be a, a an ant. Uh you consider yourself an ant at this point? Sure do. Two shows. Yeah. Watch those shows get the ants, five the shows the ant, on the weekend. I, I believe that Not the many um, ants have the uh, the itinerary. I mean, of uh, BQ, the busy no, schedule. They don't, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> Give it a few years. <laughs> I think it's more of a mindset than yeah. uh, than actually like how much you have or what you do. Or yeah, what I don't think I'm perceived station is. I don't think I'm very highly of myself, Walt. I would say that I've, I have. <laughs> I, I wish I was a B. <laughs> I've always struggled with it. Yeah, and I think we all struggle with that. I think sure. the, this whole podcast definitely has an inferior complex <laughs> going. Well, here's the thing: like, I don't think anybody's better than me. I just think like we're all just kind of a bunch of assholes. <laughs> you don't think anybody's better than you? No, you, know, you got to know those people. Who? I mean, it's just. I mean, I'm just talking like you just. Who's better than me? Yeah. I mean, just like in what way? Who I don't know. To say that no one is better than you? There's people that That's are, pretty arrogant. Well, in what way? It just – if you could just uh, – I mean, the pe- are people more talented than me? Yeah, but I think at the end of the day, everybody's achievements mean basically nothing. So that's what I mean. Like I think at the end, we all pretty much – What does it matter really? What does it matter? Are you better than other people? Uh, am I better than other people? Some people. Right. Yeah, I'd say so. so. so if, you can ex- if you can accept the fact it, that you're better than other people. Yeah, yeah, but hold but on. you the- can't accept the fact that other people are better than you? No, no, not even not, like you that. You may not be an ant. Mm, no, <laughs> you're talking about – Get this guy the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just me, you, and Hitler from here on out. <laughs> I'll sting you guys. No, I mean like who's not better than me? Child molesters. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> fucking rapists. <laughs> Uh, he has to say that out like, loud. Yeah. <laughs> I wake up every morning. I look in the mirror. And I'm like, at least you haven't molested any children. <laughs> Let's get on to this Tuesday. <laughs> Let's get the set. <laughs> hey guys, still haven't molested any kids. How's everybody today? Good, good. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the, the show, very quickly, the yeah. uh, the show, the Impractical oh, – and are we doing a bonus pod? People keep asking. Yeah, and we, I, are. we are. Okay. When are we doing that? Uh, I have some time off coming up. And uh, where do they got to send it? That's what, I, that's what I – I think it was TST Jokers at Gmail, but I got to double check that. Yeah, people ask a lot and I never know what yeah, to tell them. I'll figure that out this week. My, my next it. episode, next week's episode, I'll, we'll have all the information. Maybe okay. Declan could just pull the old tape and tell us where the people to uh, – Sure, it. if he wants to. Oh, yes, that's all I have to do. Oh. <laughs> I'm just sitting here waiting. I'm not <laughs> molesting wait, kids either. Waiting for right. tests. Right, you know what? Maybe he can add – I mean there's got to be somebody on there who knows what the uh, address was that you mm-hmm. gave. I mean, you know, maybe we can – Yes. Yeah, somebody help help a brother out. Um, but We're my- definitely going to do that. We got something fun planned, right? Yeah. Do we? <laughs> oh, I thought bringing Sal down. Oh, that's right. Yes, we do. We do have something fun planned. We um, shoot. Uh, we only have another week of shoot next week, and then after that, you're th- done. Uh, well, for half the season, then we start shooting three point five in, in, in May. It's nuts, huh? It's fucking and the second show. Uh, my question was the. I think it was the last episode. You guys went to a a singles, yes. Thing did was it on purpose that everyone was at least twenty years older than you guys? Like was uh, that done on purpose, or did that just sort of it present kind of, itself? I think that it like we no, it wasn't on purpose. There were like two people like roughly your guys' age. Yeah. Then everyone was easily at least ten years older. It not. wasn't planned that way, but we were pretty happy when it turned out. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we, you know, the the problem with with making a show like this is, um, you rely on people's word. So when you call someone and you're like, "Do you get a young crowd there?" and they tell you yes, when they don't, they just want the they just want their business on the TV show. So they're basically telling us what we want to hear. Right. But I thought it worked out. Yeah, yeah it was funny. Yeah. Is right? When you got cock blocked by that fucking that old fucking man. Old guy, how <laughs> <great> was that? <laughs> so that was funny. Thank you. Everybody, I'll be in Chicago this weekend. I don't know where. Walker Stalker Con? Oh, that's right. Something like that, right? Walker Con? Walker. Yeah. It's a it's a Walking Dead doing? convention. I have no idea. But Ming's not, Ming's uh Ming's father-in-law passed away. So he had to go out to Ohio for uh, the funeral. Yeah. And so he won't be there Friday. Oh, so sure. everybody knows. Uh but he will be there Saturday and Sunday. Now okay. me and Mike will be there Friday. Do we keep his money? <laughs> That's my only question. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you ask? <laughs> if he was actually really going. <laughs> Me? To Walker Stalker oh, Con. Well, I mean, how much time are you supposed to put in? <sighs> with, your, with, you know, with your wife's dead father. It's like, I mean, I, I have to honestly, like, 
Okay, I look at I I cannot imagine you saying that. I can't <laughs> I can't imagine you saying to your wife like uh I'm gonna go to a, a Comic Con and hang around with a bunch of fucking ants who don't know their ants. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're blown away, man. You can't believe it. <laughs> Walker Stalker Con. Yeah, here it is. I really don't know what, what's in store, Q. It's going to be like every other fucking Yeah, I'm sure like, well, I mean, I don't know if like we're supposed you, to do a panel are you, are you, are you or. Are selling anything? Uh, we're selling um, pictures. I know that. People have asked that I bring Tell Them Steve Dave merchandise, so I think Do we have maybe Steve Dave merchandise? not really, uh, but maybe I'll get fucking, some and just write on the on the picture of yourself, Black Magic Marker. TSD. Tell Them Steve Dave, yeah, yeah official TSD merchandise. Drop an ant in it. Um, I'm at the the website, but it doesn't say anything about it. I mean, what do you, what what do you expect to be different than any other con you've been to? Uh, I mean, I I believe it's it has to be just like people coming to the booth and saying hello, and then um, and then uh, like a, a a panel or something like at the uh, the one in Miami, like they did li- uh, live podcasts and oh, shit. Okay, yeah, Bing and Mike. Yeah, yeah. I sat in, but um, uh oh, what Henry Ian Cusick will not be there. Oh, that's the guy from uh, Lost. Which one? It's the what's his name the. Australian or oh, New Zealandy uh, dude, whatever. Um, I forget his name. What the fuck's his name? Desmond. 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 Yeah, he won't be there. So, but I will be. There you go. You don't got to worry about that. Why would he be there anyway? What? What is this? I mean, I know I should probably know. Uh oh, Kane Hodder's not going to be there either. What? What? People are backing out right why and left. He, man. You want me to text him? Find out why he dropped out. Yeah, he's a celebrity friend. Ask him what's Walt. what. I was actually Walt. Will the people be? Um, will they be seeing you at the Asbury Park Comic Con? Nope. They can see me fucking ten minutes away at the stash. With the stash, I'll <laughs> be working at the stash that day. Yeah. Chris Lozano is uh, going to be. I there, right? understand that uh, our normal fee does not apply <laughs> to the <laughs> Asbury Park Comic Con. No. I was told that recently. And then, By who? Uh, Ming. Ming. Really? Ming told me that uh, evidently it's uh, basically a freebie. It's uh, yeah on the so house you're going for one day. You're not going for every day, are you? No. Well, I, I, want, I just want to go on the day. Uh, what's his name? Peter uh, Peter Bag. Peter Bag is oh, there. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I would like to meet him. Ladondo has told me he's moderating the panel with you guys, huh? Is that the How place? How you get that gig? He did that last year, too. I think he's doing it again this year. I don't know, but he's he's That's eager to gig for him. He is. He's, he should be able to turn it into something. He's very eager to get his side <laughs> of the story out, by the way. He's got to build up. <laughs> I could tell like Quinn like isn't really exactly hearing what you're saying and it's just like <laughs> oh. put it on his resume <laughs> moderated the uh, yeah. comic yeah. book men he's uh, excited in the, in the in the fucking little shitty bar we did it in last year <laughs> He, okay, um, so tell us today, they've always suffered from an inferiority complex, so mm-hmm. nobody should get mad at us. They should pity us. Yeah, feel bad for us. <laughs> We've hurt feelings. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was going to be, um, unfortunately, because Ming had to leave, there was going to be another, uh, we had another uh, t-shirt commercial ready to get, well, you know, ready to record, but right. Ming's not here, so we couldn't do it. Uh, LaDonda La takes a beating. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to come on and defend himself. Are we, are we yeah, he give can him come anytime. Yeah, yeah. Anytime. Come anytime. I didn't sure. even ask him to do it because I just thought it would be in poor taste for me to ask him. Did you? Yeah. Like you want to just send back him so like, no, 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 like no. he just hears know. it and he's like, what the, the fuck? We didn't get the, the reason we, you're saying the reason we didn't get the ad done was because, you know. Because of me. Yes. You're right. But, there, but I think – I just chose to be like, well, that's not that's being disrespectful if I ask Ming to try to have some yucks right now at this time and do this ad read. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, are you all changed around on that now? <laughs> um, Kickstarter, we took from one person. One person, a little bit of uh, shit, right? Yes. Yeah. Have you heard about this? Um, More shit? This guy? No, no, nothing to do with us. Oh, okay. Um, but it's a, a Kickstarter fail. Um, are you familiar with this guy, Walt? John Campbell? Glenn Campbell? John Campbell. Uh, perhaps his cousin, John <laughs> no. Campbell. 
Uh, he does something called Earl Campbell. No, Jay Scott. Not Earl. Jay Scott Campbell. Not him. The Tyler Rose. Tyler Rose Campbell. <laughs> Campbell Soup. No, who is it? Um, John Campbell is a guy who I guess he had ten years. Uh, it's called um, where is it now? Sad Pictures for Children. He's a he does like a web comic. Um, a comic book. No, I don't think so. It was a, a web comic that he did. Like, you know, he put it online for 10 years. Cool. 10 years? Yeah, like he had 10 years worth of stuff on his wow. website. So he ran a uh, a Kickstarter. And basically what it was, he uh, he wanted $8,000 and he got fifty, a little bit over 51000 Well, So it was a pretty – people liked his work. You, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think he definitely has a following. Um, now hold on a second. Okay. There was 1,073 backers. Now the cheapest that you could pledge was $10. He said, I will send some kind of disparaging message to you or a friend via your choice of social network or email. Okay. That was the least. Now, you know, there's a whole bunch of different levels getting books and shit. Um, so it's not a web comic. Uh, well, this is the first time it was going to be in print. Okay. I guess. Now, the most you could pledge was a thousand, and that was one backer. You got both books, print sketches. I will travel to the city you live in and put up a large number of paste ups. I'm assuming those playbill things or whatever in that city over the course of about a week, longer depending on if and how much I get arrested. Okay. Now, evidently, what happened was he miscalculated shipping. Sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, it cost more to send out than he thought it would, and he said he ran out of money. So there were a bunch of people who didn't get their book, and uh, they got mad. So instead of trying to make it right, this dude went on to Kickstarter and he wrote this real – I would never read it because it's way too long. Uh, but on it, there's a video of him burning 127 copies of the book – because he'd received emails asking him where they were. And then he would, he threatened that he would continue to burn copies with every email, tweet, Facebook message he receives. He says, I shipped about 75% of quick Kickstarter rewards to backers. I will not be shipping anymore. Uh, I will not be, I can't read it. Cause um, for every message I receive, I will burn one more. If you would like a refund, please contact a fan of my work directly for your money. This is where the money comes from. Anyway, I am cutting out the middle middleman. Uh, the backers who gave me the most money received the least reward. And the, what, what, what it basically comes down to is um, somewhere along the way, he started to feel very anti-capitalist. And I think like he sent out books to people who, you know, paid $25. Mm. But for the people that paid like, you know, 300, 500, 1,000, he held it against them. And it was essentially, it seemed like he's like, well, if you have this much money, what the fuck do you need a book for? Um, and he went on to say, like, I don't, I don't want to put any more physical um, objects or material out there uh, that hurt the environment. Blah blah blah. And uh, so about twenty five percent. This could be a, a dude. Model. We're done. Business, we're done. <laughs> like we for the, uh, the claymation. We've well, already. Well, we don't even have to yeah. Make it. We are. We burned it, <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> Clay is flammable, right, guys? <laughs> so it says he had about okay, say say a thousand backers, twenty five percent didn't get their shit. So you're talking about two hundred and fifty people who are like, "Where's my stuff?" And he's like, "Well, I burned it because I don't believe in money, <laughs> and I don't know if he's in trouble or not." Like I, it seems like nobody's really like taking him the task for it in terms of like legal shit. Really, I isn't it fucked what up? His rights are. Uh, people and somebody even said, "Like, hey, I live in the area. Can I come by and get the book?" And he lit up. He said magazine. no. <laughs> he said no. And on top of it, the the website, he shut it down. He took all the work off. Really? Of it. Yeah. Sounds like a real sterling human. Being. He, he said. I mean, first off, he sounds like he's mentally ill. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> we can do that, Doc. I don't, we can we can do something equivalent to that, and then we'll remove all the Tom Steve Dave episodes. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Just disappear. <laughs> and put the TV. No, are we going to go? Are we going to go? Are we going to go ahead and actually make the movie and do everything and just cut out like the highest tiers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And like we hate money. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was. Uh, it was I interesting, mean, man. Like, are they telling Steve Dave fans still waiting for T-shirts from three no, years ago? No, I, I, I sincerely hope not. I thought yeah, I like to believe there. everyone got, got their it, shirts. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I th- yeah, I mean, thought- yeah, but in actuality, though. That really isn't that much different, though, um, than, like, they ordered a shirt, they didn't get it, yeah, and nobody responded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't check that email anymore. Like, how is that different from what this prick It's did? not different at all. It's exactly the same. Right down. Except we didn't even have the fucking decency to disappear. Right we Can we ask for more? For more products. <laughs> But at least there's the same mental illness uh, going on. We're going to piss someone off with this. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be mad. Everybody got their stuff now. So, <laughs> Do you want an update, Q, on uh, Angel's Network, A Day in Hell? Yeah. This was uh, We talked about this last week, Walt. It was another Kickstarter project, which, which really got my attention because it was a lady who was um, – she wants to make a movie about human trafficking. And then, like, you see the trailer, which is the most amateurish thing on earth. Um, and then you read what she wrote. She literally says that she knows it's going to be an Oscar nominated movie. <laughs> but what I also don't understand is, like, she said she has the first 40 minutes of it that she funded herself. She needs the next 50 minutes so that she can make a feature. But she's trying to raise $330,000. So it's like you're telling me the first, if the first 40 minutes of this cost 330000 right? Or or a fraction thereof? Maybe she has grander things that she has planned in, in the latter half of the movie. Uh, I mean, it better be like some Star some Wars type shit. <laughs> yeah, like some Lucasfilm type shit. Because <laughs> what I saw, <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, but uh, last week, she only had one backer, uh, $25. And I think she had like 52 days to go. Okay. Uh, there's 45 days to go. She is up to one backer, $25. Yeah. Oh, I, nice. I don't think she's going to hit her goal. Uh, even after being spotlighted. Like, although, Steve although there is a part of me, like, I'm like, I do want to see the rest of the movie because the trailer was so, you watched it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's pretty it's, awesome. I thought it was going to be about guardian angels because I want to ask you guys. Oh, go ahead. Do you guys believe in guardian angels? Oh my God! I, like you gotta so ask I, me that. Well, <laughs> like, I, gonna, I want I, someone fired. I think we've talked about this. Your guardian angel probably is is, is is gave up a long time ago. Yeah, he he's fucking <laughs> he, he's not paying attention he's to life like more than I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's been banished into the fucking like, bow, bowels of hell. Yeah, like how he got that job is fucking beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> Q, no, 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 no nothing. Nah. Not even a, even a hint that maybe there could be some, uh, something that nah. for all your success and all the, the luck that you have had, yeah, you're not think that possibly um, there's a little bit of uh, no because because I wouldn't have had to work that hard and it would have been more enjoyable. Well, I don't mean I mean just luck and just in life hit the good hit the lottery on looks. Well, hit I mean the lottery on charisma hit the lottery. Yeah, but, then, of but being then, no, a, no, no, a no. celebrity. Well, look, I mean one no, and then yeah, two. you can you hit the fucking mega ball. I hit like fucking <laughs> the fucking church fifty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, because then what about those fucking poor kids in, in Uganda and shit like that? What, are the, they, they don't have guardian angels, but I do? Well, yeah, you're American. <laughs> <laughs> right there, you, I mean, you, that's, I mean, that right alone, that's another thing. You're Uh-oh. a guardian Born angel. You're, you're a guardian angel. You're like, it's a lot easier to look out for an American than some, some Ugandan <laughs> kid. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be out the job 24-7. So they're this. incompetent than these angels? and they're, I think I think that there's only so much that they can do. Right. Uh, I think that I, I, I have to say my guardian angel was on the ball. Hmm. A couple weeks ago, something happened that you were yes. like, "Guardian yeah. Angel." I was Thank in. You. Um, I think it's Grand. <laughs> you were attacked by a Ugandan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was in a supermarket. Okay. And um, some old couple was doing the self checkout. Yeah. Um, really pissing me off because I'm like, if you really don't know what you're doing, <laughs> why are you in the self checkout? Like, right. why? Why do I have to now check out your shit for you because you don't know what's going That's on? Right. Excellent. You should go stand in line. I know you don't want to stand in line. That's why you're here. <laughs> but like delaying me. Mm-hmm. Um. But you know, 
Yeah. Still, like still the old very guy polite. Died of a heart attack. Still very polite. Still very cordial. Still very. You? Still willing to help. Yes. Oh, you actually you help him. I thought you were just sitting there just, saying well, nothing. Well, I help in so much as like press this button so you can begin, please. Right. Um, <laughs> Get out of my life forever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that delay cue. As I was walking back to my car, a, a SUV ran out of control, crashed into the coals where I had just been walking. Over Middletown? Over Middletown. Middletown or the Homedale one? Uh, Middletown. Really? Yes. My life was saved. You're, you would have gotten mowed down by the out of control SUV? Down. Me and my wife would have gotten mowed down. Oh. I would have gotten your kids. <laughs> oh. No, I would have raised them. You wouldn't have gotten. Yeah, them. probably not. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but all because of that elderly, inept, right. feeble-minded couple in front of me couldn't work the um, the self checkout. If they were any quicker, I would have been walking where that thing hit. Right. Well, I mean, and it ran right into the front, like it did yeah. crash through the doors. It went right through, like right into the brick facade. Wow. And who was driving it? Who was behind the wheel? Uh, some lady. She was okay, though. Yeah. Yeah. But who knows what would have happened to me and my wife, though. Yeah, like you guys get pinned under it or yeah, fucking yeah, – like she smashes you against a wall exactly. and it's like as soon as they pull uh, it away, that's when you die. Oh, yeah. So like, like you could call like, your um, friends and relatives. Was that Sixth Sense or something? Was that – or no, uh, uh, Signs? The one with the alien signs. Signs, yeah. yeah. Swing away, Meryl. So I want to. So this week I do want to. I want to. Um, Shows dedicated to your guardian angel. Dedicated to my guardian angel. All right. Hmm. What about the guardian angel of the guy who's driving the car? What about that fucking guy? <laughs> she's <laughs> folks. She's okay. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. But still, you would think like all that. All the only thing that got hurt. Drive into a Walmart. The only thing that got hurt was the uh, the outside of a Coles. Right. I think we can all live with that, right? Yes. That's not so bad. <laughs> Did it like really fuck it up? Like yeah, the, yeah, yeah, put, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, like we went back the next day because I wanted to show the kids where we almost died. And <laughs> <laughs> you're constantly fucking bringing up your impending death, or you just skirted death. <laughs> and, I, and it was it was pretty bad. Yeah, they had to cover it up, and like they had it, you know, until some some masonry got there and, and uh, fixed it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So so, uh, so it's a guardian angel. It's not just like random luck. <laughs> No. Okay. No, 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 no. Some kid hasn't eaten in Uganda for four <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Guardian Angel's busy taking care of Walt while he's being inconvenienced by some fucking old bag. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Somewhere, you know how the guy Castro had those girls locked in a basement for 10 years? Like, that's going on somewhere else <laughs> right now in America. And, like, yeah. Or just some well, like, woman's like, husband's beating her right now. Gar- but- just like in life, in real life, Q, yeah. just like on Earth, yes. human beings walking around, some perform better than others. Some That's guardian right. angels are on top of it. Some, you know, not so much. Okay. Now, do you think like once you die, you get the job as guardian angel? Oh, I would love that job. Would you? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty vigilant. I'll keep up on it. Yeah. You're assigned to get him? Uh, take anybody? <laughs> I'll take anybody, yeah. <laughs> It's a it's an honor and a privilege. Yeah. Oh my god! Like you got to stop him from slipping in the shower and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would come up with an innovative ways to doing it. Yeah. I'd be like, jerk off a little bit longer, get him so you. Yeah. So, the, so the the bathtub is yeah. a little bit drier. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're whispering and get him so you to jerk off. <laughs> You're in the shower it with sounds him. horrible. <laughs> yeah, that'd be terrible. Still, I um, I was thinking about you today, Walt. Um, there was a show on. It was called oh, what the fuck was it? It was like Killer Killer Ladies or something. I can't remember the fucking title. But the number, like, there was already a fucking insane number of these crime shows that are, like, on the ID channel and shit. Right. And there are new shows all the time. And, and I'm like, who who's watching these? Like, there's a couple where, like, they're, you. they're decent. I, I mean, some I can't watch. And the narration mm-hmm. sucks. The stories suck. Um, but, the, but I mean, it's like, how is there... Is there just a, like an insatiable audience? Do you think for these things? Because yeah. some I'm just like these people like real life um, stories. You know, yeah. that's always going to be way more interesting than uh, made up stories. Um, I saw one. I, I just thought I thought of you too. Or me and my wife were watching it, and I kept telling my wife at some point like, because it, it was a guy who was bootlegging uh, movies. He'd go into a movie theater mm-hmm. and bootleg movies, 
He became one of FBI's most wanted, not most wanted, but he was wanted by the FBI for boot for that. Mm-hmm. And I kept telling my wife, I was like, we're an hour into this thing and this is two hours. And going, at some point, he has to murder somebody. There's no way they would devote, <laughs> there's no way they would devote a sh- two hours to this. I'm going. And lo and behold, the guy didn't ever did any v- real violent crime. He punched a security guard at Walt Disney World. That was the biggest thing he did while he was on the lamb. For, oh, he was and on the lamb during on this? the ID channel. A, a two-hour documentary on this guy because he was called yeah. the Prince of um, the Prince of <laughs> Boredom. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what he was called, but he was the Prince of like bootlegging. Though mm-hmm. he was, uh, and he would go to flea markets and sell the DVDs. Or, like he would go, he would go watch a movie in the theater with like a camcorder, right? And um, he'd have that movie that w- was out that weekend. He'd sell them at flea markets, and that's his big. That was his crime. I know that's a crime. Right. But not one you'd expect people, like millions to watch on TV. Two either. hours. Wow. It's crazy. That's when you know that crime it's some it's a slow Yeah. Slow week for Fuck you. yeah. I mean it's just it's weird too. I was just thinking like all the people you would never ever hear of, the crimes you would never ever hear of if it wasn't for these shows. Because I mean you really only hear about like the biggest right. and most sensational crimes for the most part, but it's it's fucking nuts how many people are out there. A lot yeah. of women too, man. A lot of women fucking killing husbands and all kinds of crazy shit. Oh, that's what I wanted to the the fucking. What's your stance on uh, banning boss EQ? T- tell me about this. Oh, you don't know about this. No. Well, you know about this. Bossy. Ban bossy. Uh-huh. This is the newest fucking Mike bossy. Puck- no, nope, <laughs> nope. Just like fucking. Uh, <laughs> Campbell. It's just Earl like, Campbell. <laughs> I'm really I'm I have a Jones and I want to do puck nuts again. I want to talk sports. You, yeah? No, I'm not kidding. I had a I don't ever want to do puck nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ever fucking subject the, the public to fucking more of Ming potting. Yeah. But they're missing out on Sunday Jeff, which is the I, I am depriving the world of Sunday Jeff, which I know is a crime against humanity, but mm. um, I heard you got I a shout out on Hollywood Babylon. Get out of Did here. It? Yeah, I didn't hear it, but I saw somebody on Twitter say that uh, yeah, right. they love the uh, Sunday Jeff mention on oh, wow. uh, Hollywood he just, Babylon. He just uh, jumped ahead of Chris Ladon, though, in terms of – That's legendary, yeah. too. Well, I agree. You, you throw, you've you made the word legendary obsolete a couple weeks ago. Well, I'm I trying to bring it back. I stand by yeah. it. <laughs> it lost all meaning after fucking Ming started <laughs> touting the I fucking s- – I've thought about it. I stand by it. Go, let's bossy. <laughs> This is okay. So I think this is the lady at Facebook and some Girl Scout lady decided that um, the word bossy is uh, negative, and here's why: when a little boy asserts himself, he's called a leader. Yet when a little girl does the same, she risks being branded bossy. Words like bossy send a message: don't raise your hand or speak up. By middle school, girls are less interested in leading than boys. A trend that continues into adulthood. Blah 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 blah. So now it's like Twitter hashtag ban bossy. Um, it's getting a lot of backing. It's it's getting uh, I think some traction. And it's it, getting a little bit of traction because of who's um, who's, who's backing, backing it? it. Yeah, like uh, uh, Kim Kardashian. <clears throat> no. Uh, J Lo. No. Uh, you're you're, th- you're you're right though. It's like it's a, it's a high one. one of the people's high profile. One of, one of those out of control young actresses who can't stop doing speed. What's that? What's that lady called? Well, like Lindsay Lohan yeah, or something? No. No, fuck. Man. Somebody How's he getting any traction? All the all the people that everybody respects no. and looks up to on the internet haven't backed it. Beyonce. Oh my Ooh. god! There we go. And Jennifer Beyonce. Garner. I'm not bossy. I'm the boss. Now the thing that with um with what's the difference? I don't know. Here's the thing about about this one. It's unbelievably retarded word policing where it's like, look, the word bossy is not going to leave the lexicon. So let's just fucking knock that off right now. It's a sexist thing. I believe so. But I I believe bossy is gender neutral. I don't – I first off, who the fuck says bossy anymore? Like when is the last time you actually heard somebody be like, hey, don't be so bossy. Isn't there like a a line of clothing called bossy? Uh, Or boss. boss, Just boss. Just boss. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, someone like Beyonce, I look at, I'm like, okay, so. Do you think she's bossy Q, Beyonce? Do you th- or do you think she's easy to get along with? No, I do. <laughs> Probably <laughs> almost impossible to get along yeah. with. <laughs> this is a woman known for her hypocrisy, though. Like, her, her husband's lyrics would lead one to believe that, you People know. People have said that I'm hip, hip. I have a lot of hypocrisy, though. Really? Yeah. Well, did they name any examples? No, they well, never fuck do. Fuck them, man. They fuck them. Do. Oh, you don't agree with them? That you're hypocritical? <laughs> I think you say a lot of shit just for the hell of it, but <laughs> but but I, but I do believe that, like deep down, you have like core beliefs that you stick to, and I don't really see you as being 
to, unless it's something like it's wrong to steal. And then like, you know, you're coming out of a sun coast or the fucking, well, no, 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 no. Well, not anymore. Sunday that was a, coming out, Sunday Jeff yeah. Out of a sun coast. You're a minion. <laughs> 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 that was the shout out from uh, Hollywood Batman to, to him in jail. <laughs> I'm gonna put, someone put some credits in his yeah. uh, yeah. In his account yeah. so he can get some cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> so, ever, ever, they were in his cell ever, block. Do you remember in the um, in the time phone ad where I told him he had AIDS because he was in jail? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't turn out too good. He got AIDS. <laughs> uh, that was fucking funny. Good time. And um, the other thing about Beyonce is like she, she's hypocritical. You're saying right? Well, for that because she, you know her husband's lyrics are not exactly the most uh, empowering for women. Ooh, and then quick, I, I like this. You get on a soapbox. Oh yeah, like, I got a little bit of a soapbox <laughs> going on here. And the other thing is she's part of the whole president's wives, the her his wife's whole fucking like nutrition thing. Yeah. Yet she's the spokesman for Pepsi. Which is like one of the worst things you can. You know, soda Pepsi. is not good for mm. soda in general. It's sugar right. water. It's not good for kids, and it's a you know it's right. it contributes heavily to obesity. No pun intended. Sure. Um, so it's like Beyonce, back the fuck up, right? Oh, like, this is this is going back to old school. Tell yeah, Steve Day back in the end. Remember I said that this is like <laughs> he should do this at the end of every episode, right? Just right. rail against somebody. And this one's a real good. This one's good. This That's bossy what, one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't understand that. I don't understand like that because you could go through any newspaper, any online news, and you could find ten fucking things. That are like, this deserves your attention. Sure. It's, it, I mean, fucking anything. A Ugandan, for Christ's right, sakes, with right. no guardian angel. You know? <laughs> There's so many things you can point at, and it's like, you're going to fucking put your time and effort behind trying to ban a word. Yeah, but that, that is never going to be banned well, anyway. Here's the thing, though, buddy. They're not going to. They're not. They're armchair. Hashtag ban Barsi on Twitter. <laughs> What's right. it called? Hashtag ban bossy. Yeah, it's on Twitter, Twitter. yeah. Like Ted sounded Ugandan when you, when you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure he's speaking English anymore. <laughs> Anybody can do it. Right. Yeah, it's it's easy. easy. It's easy. It's easy to sit there and be like, hashtag ban bossy. What would be, what would be going out and really changing the bossy connotation? What would you need I to mean, do? I mean, I think the problem would be realizing that that's not something <laughs> worth your fucking time. And to, yeah, <laughs> and, and also like I, I feel like it, um, it, it paints and and this is women. Is this, I feel like women do this a lot. White guys though coming down and maybe not seeing what the rest of the world is seeing now. Nah, we're right. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, I've done the research. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the research. <laughs> All right. Which is he looked up articles on the internet. Yeah. Public in post. I was, I was too lazy to even hashtag Van Bossy. <laughs> but I feel like it also like assumes that like girls are so fragile that you can't call them a name. Like if you call them a name, they're going to fucking wither up. It's like, okay, well, if you stop calling girls this name, well, then they're going to be leaders. Right. Bullshit. Not everybody's going to be a fucking leader. No. Lots of us are ants. Most of us are ants. And and the women that fucking do lead and now you ants have, are like, strong enough have to, some to, really nice fashionable yeah. options. Oh yeah. <laughs> that tell them Steve Dave Ant shirt? Oh Pretty tell them Steve you Dave. That tell them Steve Dave Is that wow. what you're talking about? If you're not a leader and you just want to sit back in the crowd and not be noticed, mm -hmm. that's the shirt you wear. Yeah. yeah. If you're if you're bossy though. Yeah, I don't know if it's a shirt for you, but <laughs> you know. Buy one anyway. Buy one for yeah. some. Uh, yeah. Oh, are you still going? Nah, that's okay. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> you got more to say on this subject? It can't possibly. No, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Once we end, that means I got to go home and get bossed around. So. <laughs> I just want to stay. 